Okay, you're gonna want to see this. My new Lego Icons Pac-Man set is here. I just finished building it a few days ago. It is amazing. There are so many features I want to share with y'all. So many great engineering stuff that I want to talk about. And it's going to be a really good time. So stay tuned. For starters, we have a button. The far button, the white button in the back. And if you press it, then it triggers a light brick that turns on the 25 cent uh, sign. Here we have a joystick that doesn't do anything, but it moves thanks to these uh, little rubber components below it. I can just take this off. See how these little squishy things are here? Makes it move. I also have up here, this thing comes off. There's a button in the back that if you press, it moves this. So. You can have either Pac-Man getting chased by the ghosts, or Pac-Man eating, eating the ghosts. Super awesome. It goes off and on. I'm just gonna leave it off for now. And here, there's a little deer back here. I don't know if you can see it right there. And if you do that, it changes the high score. So by rotating this, you can look here. 3600. There it is, 6,900, and we can keep going with all sorts of different scores. I'll just leave that there for now. Uh, I love the way this works, but my favorite part is this little thing right here. What, is it, what does it do, you ask? Well... This thing actually plays Pac-Man. If you rotate this crank, it triggers all, it tri if you rotate that lever, it triggers, um, it makes all these gears start moving and this track with all the characters attached to it means that you can have a thing that actually plays Pac-Man. Look, even the little cherry, like, rotates. How amazing is that? You have the ghosts in the jail. You have Pac-Man getting chased by all the ghosts. It is absolutely incredible and I can't wait to share with you all the nifty little features that make this thing actually work. All right, we have here the, the, the instructions. And as you see here, remember those little rubber thingies from the uh, joystick? Well, there's one in here. And if you look over this way, if you press on the button, that makes the rubber press on the button for the light brick, which makes the light brick light up. So that's like a, that's like a transfer of kinetic energy. Yeah, I'm trying really hard to make this science scene right now. Here you can see we have all the gears right here. And each gear is attached. I can actually take this off and show you. That goes up into this little brick, and the ghost connects to the brick, which makes the ghost and pac can move. Now, I think gears are awesome because you can do a lot of stuff with gears, like this, but also you can do stuff on a much larger scale. It's just so fascinating to see all the things you can do with just simple mechanics that were dreamed up like a long time ago. Still doing new things with them every day. Subscribe if you want me to make an I like gears t-shirt when I'm rich and famous. Uh, I'm just kidding. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please hit that, click that like and subscribe button. I really need it right now. I'm at, as of this video, I'm at 11 subscribers. Not much. But with your help, I could uh, get monetized and imagine all the great things I'd be able to do then. I would have more resources. You'd be able to see a lot better videos. So... Uh, I appreciate your support. Thanks. This is Stem Mod. Have a good one. Bye.